Hello and gents, Ro here and welcome to Normal Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2 tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover generators and basically the backgrounds and additional content that you can add to your clips. So let's go ahead and jump right in Final Cut Pro into our Final Cut Pro tutorial project. Here's some of the tutorials we've been working on previously. Last one we did was uh, 3D titles and text. As you can see right here, here's a 3D title, rotating actually. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to your right hand side here where it says uh, show hide generators browser. Go ahead and open that up and we're gonna start up in the backgrounds. Basically these are like little animated backgrounds that you can use and you can put text on them. You can put them on top of uh, another video or put them on top of an image. And uh, once they load here, I'll be able to show you guys, but you can also go to all and you'll be able to see them all, but backgrounds, here they are. And you can all you gotta do is just scroll over them. You can see how they actually interact. For example, this, you can see just all you gotta do is scroll and you can see the animation of these backgrounds. For, for example, the clouds here, drifting, glimmer, and they all take a little bit to load, but you you get the basic gist of it. There's also some here that are stills as well that are all by themselves. And uh, as you can see, the boxes, these are like really good intros if you're trying to make an intro as well. So I'll be sure to go through those. But for my tutorial, I'm going to use the clouds one here. But uh, let's also, let's show you the elements here. You got a timer, you got a counting, and you got a time code. If you're trying to time something, this is really comes really um, in handy. And then shapes and placeholder we'll cover in a later tutorial. Um, also, we got solids. These are just a one solid color. And there's no animation. It's just one solid background color if you want. Also, you can basically drag and drop your additional photos if you want or images and you can use them as backgrounds as well. And also, you have textures. My favorite one here is the metal one. And these are just additional backgrounds. They're just, they don't have much animation. It's just a texture type. You got a nice looking background basically. So let's go back to our backgrounds and I'm going to go to clouds gonna just drag and drop it in here it defaults it to do like how long the clouds are and uh, it looks like this itself is around a minute and 40 seconds as it says down here at the bottom I'm actually gonna shorten it by selecting the clouds and hitting command I mean control D it brings up this little um, time code it tells you it's a minute and 40 seconds we're gonna change that to two, 10 seconds 10 and a period and an enter now we can see that it's made it we made it exactly 10 seconds and we have this text all by itself. We're actually gonna drag and move the text right on top of the clouds. And then we're gonna expand it just as long as the clouds are. I'm gonna align, align this, uh, the third, uh, I mean the second uh, <laughs> timeline uh, cursor here. And I'm gonna align it so I can get it right at the end of the actual clouds. Now my movie tends to be, it takes a little bit sometimes to render. If you click right here, it says 1%. Um, for me, for it to fully run smoothly, you gotta let this finish. Um, it should go quite quick, quickly, honestly, depending on your processor. Since I don't have a solid state drive, it's gonna go not, it's gonna go pretty slow. But uh, if you play it right here, you'll be able to see the clouds actually on top. I mean, the text is actually on top of the clouds. And if we play it, there we go. There, it kind of lags too for me because just like I said, it's still rendering here at the bottom at the percentage. Now also you can adjust any of your backgrounds or elements as textures by simply selecting the clouds and then you can go to your inspector tool at the top right, I mean middle right hand corner over here. It's not even a corner, just the right <laughs> middle side right here. Go ahead and click on that and go to your generator tab. From here you can adjust how many clouds you want and you can increase it, make it completely white or just decrease it to a little amount. Also, you can change the track. If you play around with it, you can adjust. You can see the real-time effect of it, or what it, what kind of changes it makes. Also, you got the dolly. This is changing like some of the, the camera angle as well, how much you're zooming in and zooming out. Haze is basically adding additional clouds, as you can see at the top right hand, at, at the very top, actually, not the top right hand. And then random pattern. This is just changing up the pattern of the clouds as well now. Now you can also go to video and this from here you can adjust the transform of the actual uh, uh, the clouds you can crop the clouds for example you see this border around here I can actually drag this around and change the entire <laughs> outlook of the clouds make it even look even more 3d 
but I don't want that changed. So I'm gonna hit Command Z to undo that. And uh, also, you you have additional like you can crop left. As you can see, let's say you don't want that portion of the clouds, or you have footage below this. Like for example, let's say I want to move this entire the 3D text and the clouds all above on top of this image. So let's see if we can do that right here. Hmm. Alright, it doesn't look like it allows me to do that. Let me take a look again. There we go. So now we want to put the text up there too. So it looks like you have to do it one at a time. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. So I'm going to hit Command Z again to undo that change and then move that text and now we have a we basically have a partial cloud we have an image in the background and we have our text all within the same timeline and this is something a feature that actually iMovie didn't quite offer and as you can see here that that honestly it doesn't quite look um this is just for tutorial purposes doesn't look uh, <laughs> video worthy but like i said it's just for tutorial purposes now you can play around with this open up the inspector tool drag some uh, elements and uh, solids and backgrounds and go ahead adjust them as you please and uh, it's the best way to learn is just play around with it but other also you can leave a comment in the comment section below i'll get back to you guys as soon as possible that's it for this tutorial catch you guys next tutorial and later so let my life be